Do I really need to detox? Is that necessary to do? Is that something everyone has to do, right? Mm. Um, I'm Dr. Beth Westy, women's health and hormone expert, author of the books The Female Fat Solution and The Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon, as well as host of the podcast The Female Health Solution. You can subscribe to that, as well as subscribe to my YouTube. Click that subscribe button so you can stay updated on everything. This is a question I get um, when it comes to kind of general health information out there on the interwebs. Um, I just saw this the other day where somebody posted something. You don't need to detox and that's just a bunch of crap. And Your body detoxes naturally. You've just been doing that since you were born. Yes, but. Here's the but. It's a big but. <laughs> it's a big but. It would be great if our bodies could keep up with everything all the time, forever and ever and ever. Right? But for somebody to say that your body doesn't naturally and it doesn't ever need, you know, assistance with that really has never actually studied human physiology. Right? And I have a degree in biology with an emphasis in physiology. That's what my degree is in. Not including my graduate degrees <laughs> and the licensing and everything that I have and certifications. It would be so great if our bodies naturally just kept up with the detox process 100% of the time. 100% of the time. In reality, things that impact our body's ability to function the way that it should, stress, your overall genetics, and I know genetics is not the end all be all. Genetics loads the gun, your environment and lifestyle pulls the trigger. However, if you have the genetic makeup there, ooh, yeah. Endocrine disruptors. These are chemicals, medications, other things that you're exposed to in your life. It's almost dang near impossible to live in today's world, like a regular lifestyle, right? Unless you're like Amish and live on a farm. So <clears throat> if you're watching this, you're probably living in a world where you're exposed to endocrine, dis endocrine disruptors. Of course, you can do all the things to try and limit or mitigate that, you know, exposure you know, cleaner products and clothing and all that other stuff. Absolutely. I mean, just recently the thing came out about what was it? Lululemon and other leggings and stuff that women have been wearing for decades. And now they're super toxic. Oh, they knew this all along. They knew this all along, right? Bath and Body Works. Some of their products have like a black box label on them of how carcinogenic they are. I bathed in that stuff in middle school and high school and even into college. Like, like literally, ba everybody did. Everybody did. Your overall health history, things that you, you know, um, there's so many factors from your health history uh, that play a role in this as well. So that's to say, are, are, are most of us like born with the capability to detox? Yes. How fast and efficiently that happens is not the same for everybody. So to make a statement like that, like you never need to detox, really is, I wanna say almost ableist because not everybody's body is the same. And as someone who personally has detox issues because of my genetics, different stressors or endocrine disruptors that I was exposed to in my life before I knew better, right? And then also has autoimmune factors. I know that I feel the best in my body. I can see signs that it functions the best when I assist in, I do different patterns of it, but assist with detoxification processes. Now that can be through sweating, it can be through um, some supplementation, milk thistles, things like that. I mean, I have a detox support here that has zinc, choline, milk thistle, beetroot, beetroot is so good for you. Artichoke, dandelion, chicory, yarrow, right? To name a few things. A beautiful blend that lightly assists in detox processes. Do you have to do it every day, all day, use things all the time to help you detox? Well, yes and no. It depends on you, right? And these are things that we walk you through in the Female Hormone Solution Program. We look at your Dutch test, we see what's going on, we ask all these questions, dive into you specifically, and then create the right plan for you moving forward. We can see on a Dutch test if you're processing estrogen correctly or not. And a lot of the Dutch tests I happen to see because I work with women that have hormonal issues. So 95% of them are not processing hormone correctly. Now I know that that's not true for the entire world population. It's just the Dutch tests that I see um, that we have to help with that process. 
And I can see through updated reports that we actually can make a really positive impact on that and help your body detox better, right? Because we can measure that in an updated Dutch test. That's phenomenal. That's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. But here's the thing. Like, again, I would love it if my body did that naturally on its own. But it needs help. And that's not, it doesn't mean that there's something wrong with me. It's just this is what I have. This is what it is. So I'm going to make sure that I do the right things for my health moving forward, addressing the detox needs, you know, at the times that I need them. So these are just some of the factors. This is not the end of the list. There are other things that can be on here, right? This is like whole books can be written. Whole books are written on this, right? The Rain Barrel Effect is a book um, where they talk about this. So your system just gets overloaded. Too much going in versus what can filter out the bottom, you know? Like if you, if you have a colander and you're trying to strain things through a colander but the holes get plugged, even if some of the holes are open, it's still not going to drain properly, especially if you keep dumping something in the top. That's kind of how that works. So really making sure your system can function the best that it can is the best bet you're going to have moving forward that your system functions the way that it should and that you feel the best and that you get and maintain the right results. So again, all things we walk you through in the female hormone solution program, specifically designing things for you. So go, you know, below this video, click that link, get on the wait list, and then let me know if you have any other questions. Thank you for tuning in and let me know if you need anything else.